For most of us, running a tap to pour clean drinking water is nothing special. We take it for granted. Drinking water and effective sanitation now form part of the fabric of modern day Britain. But this has not always been the case. By the mid 19th century, the Industrial Revolution was run at its peak and the infrastructure could not keep pace with the rapidly rising population. Large families and poor housing conditions made the situation right for a sinister and deadly problem, cholera. Cholera had a massive impact on the black country, a centre for the Industrial Revolution. In Bilston, there were no families who had not been touched. Between August and September 1832, the death toll had reached 742, almost 20% of the population. The burial grounds had to close because they were full. It was John Snow, a physician who linked the outbreaks of cholera to contaminated water. There was a dire need to improve the water supply of the black country. Litchfield provided the solution with the establishment of the South Staffordshire Water West Company. Sited near the railway at Sandfields, the building housed a magnificent 150 horsepower Cornish beam engine built by German and George Davis of Tipton. At the time this engine was cutting edge technology. It pumped over 2 million gallons of water every day, working almost non-stop from 1873 to 1927. The engine and building are unique and is a magnificent monument to the lives of individuals telling the extraordinary story of fresh drinking water and how it supported the industrial growth of the black country, breathing life into the beleaguered communities. The building is now showing signs of neglect, vandalism and metal theft from the roof. Many will feel unhappy that this splendid monument to the past is in grave danger. A group of people are working hard to save this beautiful part of Litchfield's heritage. To preserve it for future generations, it needs a small amount of commitment, a lot of imagination and your voice of public support.